The First Lord of the Admiralty, Mr. A.V. Alexander, is speaking at a luncheon given by the English-speaking Union, pays tribute to the magnificent work of the Royal Navy. Today it faces the threat of invasion, backed by the attack of surface ship, the attack of submarine, the attack of the e-boat, the attack of the mines, new, varied, deadly in their character, moored and magnetic, and by the new and powerful modern threat of both bomb and torpedo launched from the aircraft. I hope I may be forgiven for saying, I think I shall be, that it cannot be too strongly stated on the other hand, that with the present threat to all free peoples occasioned by the ruthless assaults of the totalitarian dictators, the British Royal Navy is today not only defending our lifeline, but it stands between the dictators and the free peoples in the Western Hemisphere. Sea power will eventually encompass the destruction of the enemy. And I hope that the Royal Navy may look for even greater cooperation in this decisive sphere of the fight for victory and freedom from our friends overseas.